color portrait coming up. So far I've poured out the perfect black from uh, Eternal. It's perfect black, perfect white. This is an off-white that works well for like light, really light areas of like a portrait or anything, you know, a tree or whatever. We got a dark medium and light flesh, which his colors aren't exactly these, but I'll probably mix them with other colors to make them more of his skin tone. That was the medium. This is the rich dark flesh. And here's the rich light flesh. Which on this piece I'll be using a lot of the light flesh and that off-white and probably mix the medium or the light flesh with this new color that I started to like more and more, papaya, an eternal ink color. Mix this with the light flesh for the cheek areas and whatnot. Eternal's old orchid, they redesigned it, they have a new orchid, but uh, everybody was calling out for the old orchid, so they kept it going just named it Old Orchid. His flesh is a little on the pink side, so I'm gonna get out a little pink that I'll probably intermix. Probably won't use it straight, but mixed with some of this lighter flesh tones will be pretty good. The other thing that's part of the, the set that me and Mario designed was the, the gray set. We got dark, medium, and uh, light gray, uh, cool, and dark, medium, and light warm gray, and I'll be using that for the suit. These I also like to intermix as well. I'll mix like the medium with the light, or the medium with the dark, you know, or the dark with the black, you know, just all depends. It's the cool dark gray. After using these colors for a while, I usually tend to use the uh, cool medium gray the most, but this dark gray is really good too. Is the medium gray. Cool. True blue. It's a pretty new color, Robin Egg. Been using this one a lot. Good color. I'll use it for something. Maybe in the eyes. For his hair, it looks like he's got some blonde, I guess blonde hair. Get out some ochres and browns, and I'll use that light, uh, that off-white will be used in, in the hair. Just a light ochre. And a little dark brown. Either use it in the face mixed with some of these other skin tones or in the hair. Get out some spice. Might use it for part of the skin color. Nude blush from Eternal actually looks pretty close to the skin color. I'll probably be using a lot of this. That'll probably be a good base. Slate. Blue concentrate. Gold colors for the watch. Some yellow. Yellow to mix down the green. Or I might mix the yellow with the black to make a like an olive type of green. Gold is a tough color to pull off, but probably use a mixture of some of these, maybe mix down with some of that light. Off-white, a mixture of those three, and off-white might make a good gold color. And thick colors, a little distilled water, so dry out. 